Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on today's show, the Smart 4-2 is going to debut at the Paris Motor Show with an all-new EV model for the 4-2 lineup. This involves an 80 kilowatt electric engine along with a 17.2 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. Now the vehicle comes in both hard top and a soft top and will be available in the Europe, US and European market in the first part of 2017 and the convertible version will come closer to the summer of 2017. Now EV range for these vehicles comes in at 99 miles for the hard top and 96 for the convertible version. Haven't heard about pricing but the Paris Motor Show is just a handful of days away from the taping of this program so we'll know a whole lot more come then. Another vehicle is being shown off here is the brand new Chevrolet Equinox. Now this gets a lot of work including all new exterior paneling. Brand new interior, new infotainment package. It's pretty posh piece of kit. And also, General Motors has lopped 400 pounds of weight out of the machine, which is going to make it a little bit more efficient, not to mention nimble. Now, it does get a pretty intriguing trio of power plans, including a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline 4, also a 2 liter turbocharged gasoline 4, and all new for this machine, a 1.6 liter turbo diesel that is supposedly going to get well over 40 miles to the gallon. Now, anytime I think about the Equinox, I think about of an old story. Yes, it's story time coming from the old motor cars enthusiasts. Many, many moons ago, oh, we were actually contracted by an organization inside of the town that I work in to actually contract it out to do a job on the, a particular machine that they were claiming was two or three years off into the future, calling it a, a testing machine on a pre-production vehicle. Now the vehicle, as soon as we got there, I knew it was a lot closer to prime time because it was already badged, even had Equinox written on it, so I knew this vehicle was a lot closer. In fact, only a couple of weeks later, it debuted at the Detroit Motor Show, and only a couple of weeks after that was at my local auto show, which I thought, holy cow, there it is, the same vehicle I saw just a handful of weeks before. As we saw it on New Year's Eve, we actually scheduled soft so we'd have enough time to actually work on it. Now, the problem with this deal was twofold. I mean, sure, we got a touch of pre-production version of the Chevrolet Equinox, but we also never set foot inside of this testing facility ever again. Number one, because my boss had some wandering eyes when him and I actually went over to this facility stared a little too hard at a couple of vehicles that were on or inside the facility itself garnering some attention from some of the employees inside of it which actually covered up machines very very quickly that too and he actually blabbed about this particular facility to a person who is kind of well he works for one of the largest companies inside of the united states it just happens to have the world headquarters inside of the town I work in. This particular person was head of transportation for that particular company and then went to this outfit and demanded a tour of the facility which I'm sure he let loose how he found out about the facility which meant that we never ever stepped foot inside of that place ever again. So sadly our ending with uh, touching some futuristic style vehicles and not to mention that vehicle wasn't near in the future is what they claimed, but they couldn't just come out and say, hey, we want you to work on a Chevrolet Equinox. Nobody would have known what that vehicle would have been. So pretty excited about the new Equinox. It's coming to dealer showrooms hopefully very soon. Next up on the list, Ferrari showing off a brand new machine. This is the GTC4 Lusso T. Now the T obviously gives something away because yes, this comes with a 3.9 liter twin turbocharged V8 like right out of the Ferrari California team. They're talking over 600 horsepower and over 550 pounds feet of torque. Those numbers haven't been made official as of yet. 
also too much like the GTC for Lusso from before, this will be two-wheel drive only, rear-wheel drive that is, which does mean it loses a fair amount of weight and 80 kilograms of weight and a, or 176 pounds of weight just because of the four-wheel drive system. Also too, this thing's going to lose a fair amount of weight just because you're lopping off a handful of cylinders in the process as well. So we don't know official pricing or availability on this machine yet, but then again, this vehicle is going to debut at the Paris Motor Show only a handful of days away. We'll know more come then. Some odds and end news, including the Ram organization. Apparently, we're going to get to see a prototype of the all-new Ram pickup truck that's going to be redesigned for the 2019 model season, possibly at Detroit in the year of 2018. So we got a lot to look forward to, and especially um, coming up in the next year, where we'll hear a whole lot more of the brand new Ram pickup truck that'll be coming soon. Also, in some cleanup from a story from before, remember when we talked about Apple and McLaren apparently getting together, or the fact that Apple may be buying out McLaren? McLaren is coming out and said, absolutely not. They are not investing in McLaren. There are a lot of folks in the know, including the folks over the Autoline.tv group, who's actually claiming there could be some working behind the scenes between Apple and McLaren that may come out very soon, that it's not an investment opportunity, but something that they are working on together. So we'll probably see a whole lot more about this coming up in the next several months. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. The link's down in the show notes. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.